with Van Durer of Skadden Arps talking about troubles in retail land. Van, give us an idea of what's happening. What we're seeing in the fast fashion segment in particular in apparel is that retailers are having trouble adapting to changing demographics, particularly uh, with respect to the, you know, the speed at which social media fuels change. And management is having a tough time keeping up with who their customer is, and that's um, caused retailers to go out of business. We've seen Cache, Delia's, Deb Shops, uh, and Wet Seal all go down, and Wet Seal so far is the only one still pursuing a restructuring. So is it because of the, the, the quickened pace of change in, in consumer tastes? What, what's driving this? Uh, well, social media is um, causing people to react more quickly uh, to change. Um, so it's harder for uh, fashion retailers to keep up. But also there were changes in the bankruptcy laws 10 years ago that have actually caused all retailers to struggle um, when it comes time to try and restructure because they have less time to make decisions about which stores to keep open or close. What changes were those in, in the law? What specifically? Specifically, um, Congress shortened the time uh, to decide whether to assume or reject a store lease. In other words, to make a decision about a store from uh, basically forever, uh, a company could continue to seek extensions to just 210 days. And 210 days doesn't enable a retailer to get through a Christmas season. So that's putting particular pressure on retailers currently. Do you see the situation changing at all? I don't see Congress changing um, that amendment to the law. Um, I, I am hopeful uh, that retailers like Wetzia will be able to adapt. Uh, what they're doing specifically there is they, they made all their store decisions before they filed bankruptcy, which is pretty unique. Um, and now they're trying to focus on their go-forward stores and get out of bankruptcy very quickly. And most of the stores in malls? Yes. So what are, in terms of the malls, lease, or the, the real estate owners who own malls, leasing to retailers like this, are they aware of the, I mean, I'll say they are, of the problems that the retailers are facing? What are they doing to uh, combat this, this pro these problems and the turnover? Yeah, there's definitely a spillover effect to, uh, to real estate owners. Um, Many real estate owners of, of big malls have already put the malls into REITs, real estate investment trusts, so, and they're still managing them. So they're, they've insulated uh, the problems of any particular mall to a specific REIT or a, you know, a REIT that owns a group of them. So they, are, uh, they have taken measures to protect themselves. So the developers will be fine at the end of the day. And aside from these specialty fashion-oriented retailers, any other problems in retail? Well, you know, Radio Shack tried to reinvent itself a couple times. It's an electronics retailer. Um, all retailers are struggling to deal with uh, Walmart and Amazon as huge competitors. Um, and actually, I personally know, because my, my daughter's involved in one company, that they're trying to figure out ways to prevent Amazon from topping them in terms of price. Um, so they're basically trying to reach their customer over the Internet, but in ways that Amazon can't uh, follow. Do you think there are signs of any of these kinds of price moats or any other kind of service moats that would keep the really forces like Amazon or? Uh... Well, I think it's incumbent upon management if they are going to survive. They've got to figure out ways to combat that strategy. Um, so the, the fact that people are out there thinking about ways to do that is, is a good sign that um, somebody's going to figure out the better mousetrap, I'm sure. And what's your view of what will happen later this year and into 2016? Um, I think we'll continue to see um, a trickle of retailers file uh, throughout the balance of the year. Um, I think that there will be more restructuring activity overall in 2016, but there, there will still be um, a flow, a deal flow through the end of this year. Terrific. Grant, thank you so much for your input. My pleasure.